Chairman Nadler this year has shown that he is willing to subpoena anything that moves. And it's amazingly, he's not talked about that with Robert Mueller. I don't believe he really wants to talk to Robert Mueller because it's better for him to continue a narrative that uh, Robert Mueller said things or implied things that he's trying to imply to the American people is impeachment. So that's Doug Collins, Republican from Georgia. Congress back in session. What's the next move for Bob Mueller? It's going to be a hot issue now until we get further guidance. Arizona Republican Andy Biggs, member of the House Judiciary Committee. Sir, thanks for coming back. Well, what should we, what are we looking for here? Does Mueller appear? Is this a fight? What happens? I don't think Mueller's going to appear. He doesn't want to come back. Um, you know, the Republicans are going to ask some real pointed questions. The Democrats want to mine him for uh, criminal activity. Uh, but, but what I find interesting is uh, Nadler's not going to subpoena him because then he gets stuck having to uh, hold him in contempt just like he held William Barr in contempt. So, so Mr. Nadler's kind of between a rock and a hard place. He's walked himself into a cul-de-sac right now. But, boy, he, he doesn't really want Mueller, even though he says he wants Mueller. Okay, that's interesting. Michael Mukasey, the former attorney general, was on with Maria over the weekend. He thinks the real action right now is investigating the investigators. John Durham's a prosecutor from Connecticut. He was hired by Bill Barr. He's been on the job for two months. Listen here. That, I think, is the most consequential thing that's taken place with respect to um, this investigation. John Durham um, is a guy who um, will conduct a completely impartial, very thorough investigation. He's investigated the CIA twice, and he also has a history of having investigated the FBI when he was in Boston. He also prosecuted a Republican governor of Connecticut. So this hmm. is a guy who... He's an who, honest broker. Well, take it one step further. Why is that legally where the action is, sir? Because um, right now, uh, we don't know how this investigation started, except for we do know that there was abuse of the FISA warrants. We know that there were, was use of uh, CIA uh, going to do, try to basically entrap George Papadopoulos, who basically was a, a low-level staffer. We know that there was attempts to uh, influence the election through uh, kind of focusing on the Trump campaign, and these were done for political purposes. And this all comes out of the Inspector General Horowitz's original report where Strzok and Page were indicating that they were going to do all that they could to prevent Donald Trump from becoming president, and then once he became president, to undermine that. So this is really the investigation uh, into the existential uh, purpose of the FBI and the DOJ. And so we have to get, uh, get to that. Otherwise, boy, you just... You just have basically degraded the American people's trust in these otherwise fine institutions. Uh, last point here, 30 seconds. I think about last head count, Nancy Pelosi was at 40 or 50 Democrats who, who want to pursue some sort of impeachment proceedings. That's a long way from getting there, sir. Last word on that. Yeah, she's and but there's momentum growing, and I think she's trying to uh, tamp it down. But I think the floodwaters are too great. You know, Clyburn said over the weekend that he thinks it's inevitable. And I think uh, he may be right on this, unfortunately. Sir, thank you for your time. Out of Arizona, Andy Biggs. Thanks, thank you, sir. We'll see you back in Washington. Thank you. Sam.